Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes, a video I'm going to be going over an internal overview of an old CB linear amplifier I happened to run across at a flea market. It is a Chris Incorporated 300M linear amplifier plus with the RF output indicator, transceiver input, input to an output power switch. And someone added some little stick on radio uh, labels for quick identification of the two plugs in case they couldn't see what obviously said transceiver and antenna there. But nonetheless, and it said read notice on the bottom. I read notice and on the notice. It says, this unit produced for exclusive use on amateur bands, 10 and 6 meters, any other use is illegal and subject to federal prosecution. This incorporated. Yeah, like anybody ever really paid attention to that stuff. Let's look inside the dumb thing. Already had the screws loose here. And it's an old tube type ampli mobile amplifier. Uses two flyback sweep tubes for the amplifier. Some transistors and stuff for TR control. A variable capacitor for tuning the input section. Relatively Kludgy, a kludgy relay control with not exactly tidy open wiring for the actual RS circuits going from the amplifier output to the relay to the antenna jacks. So not exactly the most robustly built RS circuit here. And for the step up and voltage from 12 volts to the plate voltage, it used two germanium power transistors driving a flyback transformer. Not a flyback, but a toroidal transformer. And underneath there, of course, going to some solid state diodes into the filter capacitors there that generated the primary high voltage and of course the plate tuning the inductor and the loading capacitor right there two controls sticking out there RF output going to what I'd say is a relatively crude RFI filter then it goes out to the actual antenna jack. Now on this one here, when I got it, as I tested it out for grins and giggles, the actual switch was burnt out, and the TR control transistors and RF detector section is bad, so the relay don't come on when you put RF into it. And when you bypass all that, the two tubes are showing signs of being relatively overdriven in the life, so the output is a little bit less than what you'd expect from those t uh, tubes of that type. So, all in all, this amplifier, like most, old CB linears you'll find it has been had the heck beat out of it for general parts and stuff this is a pretty decent supply of parts if you part it out which is what I'm gonna do it has a good toroidal high frequency transformer to relatively decent power 
germanium transistors. Two tubes that have seen slightly better days, but they might be usable for something. And it doesn't mind too much on them being slightly long in the tooth. And of course, plenty of air breathable capacitors. Really in a nice enclosure, which if I rip everything out of it, I'll make a nice project box for a power supply or something else. So, all in all, even if it is no longer a functional amplifier, which I didn't really expect it to be one after it's gone through this much, Still plenty of parts, still plenty of use that can be had out of it, so take care, take it easy.